It's 20 past one. I have to acknowledge something, something that I got wrong. The other day I made a video where I showed you how to put a leg rope on a surfboard, a leash on a surfboard, if you like. And uh, I was wrong, completely wrong. I didn't know this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, look, I'm learning here just like you're learning. The way I put the leg rope on, the leash, you might call it a leash, we call it a leg rope in Australia. The way I put the leg rope on was the old school method, shoving everything through the loop. But there is a new method, and I'll explain it to you. Let's pop out here. Let's go to the board. So, first thing, these leg ropes, or these leashes, have changed over the years. Whoops. Okay, that's gonna work. See this little bit of extra Velcro here? This is a board protector. And what that does is, and I learned this from Busted Surf Co, who, who belong to this leg rope while mine's being replaced. So, what this does is, you want this part of the, of the rope to be on the board. You don't want there to be rope touching the side of the board here like this, like, like cord. That way you could possibly, you could possibly damage your board if, if you went through a heavy wipeout and that was touching the, the surface of the board. So instead you want this stuff to touch the board. All right, and so the, the way to put this on, let me pop you down. I'm gonna pop you somehow like this on the board. Angle it down a slight bidgeon like that. This is really, really, really simple. I'll come down here. Now, if I bump this, that's going to fall over and bust, so I won't bump it, hey? All right, so previously I would put this through the loop and then pull the whole leg rope through this. Now, that's the old school method, that's the wrong way to do it. These new leg ropes leashes with this Velcro, all you have to do, it's really, really simple. Pop this end in here, same as what you'd do before. That's not wobbling, is it? I don't trust that. It's supposed to be simple. I'm being gentle because I don't want to knock the camera over. I can see it wobbling. Okay, so once you've got it through like that, this is the real simple part. You undo this Velcro. It's got a three or four different latches of Velcro here, like that. And then you pop this, you can see that, right? You can see that from there, yeah? I might, well, I can't bring it close because I've got both hands here. You pop this through here like this. Actually, I'll show, I will bring you closer. I'll show you that. You pop it in like that. Whoops. Pop it through there. Pop the Velcro down. A lot of popping going on. This piece of Velcro and then that final piece of Velcro on top. And that's it. And now <laughs> it's on and it's protecting the board at all angels. Now, <laughs> I did not know that. It took, someone in the comments made that comment as well. Um, you've got Velcro there, why don't you use the Velcro? I didn't know that that's what that was for. It took me to go into Busted Surf Co. And, and Brett, Brett McKenzie, the owner of the shop, told me, oh yeah, you're doing it wrong, you know, do it this way. Put that in the kook files. I'm acknowledged I'm a kook. You put that in those kook files, I did it wrong. Here's the correction. You can still do it the other way if you have an old school leash, an old school leg rope that doesn't have the board protecting part. But if you don't, if you have a 